Hey, good morning tech fans. Elric here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel to bring you the unboxing and overview of the brand new Google Nexus 10. You guys have all heard about it. This is like the very first 2560 by 1600 screen to ever hit the portable market. Let's jump in and let's check out this awesome new product. All right, folks, like every unboxing, we have the box, the front, and then we have the back of the box. Now, I actually had opened this up previously to familiarize myself with this a little bit better so I could give you guys a better unboxing. That way we could just like jump into things. Kind of left it the same that it was though. So all the plastic and everything is still on it here. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Go ahead and remove the front. Now, in the front, 2560 by 1600, 300 pixel per square inch, 10 inch screen. Now this is better than anything that we can see even on an Apple product. Even their latest retina type stuff is not as good or as dense as this. This thing's actually better than even my 30 inch Dell monitor. So let's flip it around. Go ahead and just remove the plastic off the back. Where you can see it once again says Nexus by Samsung. Go ahead and peel off the plastic up here. There are two cameras, a five megapixel camera and a 1.9 megapixel camera. Go ahead and flip it around. Right here, we have the micro HDMI connector. I'm gonna spill it around here. Here we see the volume rocker bars, the power on, which I'll just go ahead and do now anyways, we spin it around, flip it up to the top, micro USB headphone, Pogo charger. Now up on top, here are the speakers. So your sound's all gonna come from up here. Gonna go ahead and get this thing over here. Now we'll do a little demo. So now let's go ahead and unlock it. Give you guys a Google Chrome demo. Head over to Tech of Tomorrow. All right, folks, so here we're using the Google. You see we're on the Tech of Tomorrow. Here's our website. One of the latest reviews we did right here was on the Maximus 5 Extreme. Then we're in there, you guys can see it's got plenty of viewing room. Everything is very, very crystal clear. Now, this has an ARM A15 CPU and a Mali T604 GPU, which are all part of the Exynos 5 dual core. Has 16 gigabytes of internal storage and two gigabytes of RAM. Has all kinds of Wi-Fi connectivity. But to me, really the biggest thing about this is this screen. 2560 by 1600, 300 pixels per square inch. In the old days, even trying to render something like this in Photoshop would have took a whole bunch of time. So this is actually quite amazing. You guys have heard me say it before, I can barely see. This thing is so clear. And even though I'm out of camera range and I'm looking at it from a completely sideways angle, the screen is still totally, completely clear. And that's pretty awesome. So that means if you're watching a movie or something on here, and you got your friends standing around by your side, they're actually gonna be able to see this very clearly themselves. So now with that said, let's just hop back out and let's continue on and let's look at the accessories package. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side. Now there's a little bit more inside the box here. Go ahead and open it up. We have our micro USB to USB cable. We have the power adapter plug adapter. And then we have the actual plug itself where the USB goes here, and this thing very interestingly plugs into here. So check this out. You stick this into here, and then voila, there's your plug. Want to take it out, remove it out. It also seems like the Pogo little adapter is missing from in here. I don't see that. I do however see the quick start guide and the warranty guide. Let me keep dismembering the box, and maybe there's some other accessories in here, but so far I don't see them. And nope, that is it. So there's actually no Pogo accessories in there whatsoever, just what you see right there on the table right here. I also, folks, was able to 
borrow real quickly and get my hands on the Nexus 4, the phone. Now, I'm not going to really do too much on this, but I will just turn on and let you guys see it. See the interface. Once again, you see your Google for searching and everything. Much smaller screen, obviously. But this is the phone version. I'll actually have some comparisons on this as we come up in the later days. But for now, I just borrowed it so I can get familiar with it. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your views. You guys know what to do. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button and show me some love. We have all kinds of contests, as you guys have seen. We've got all kinds of stuff coming up, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Look up for all kinds of comparisons where I compare this phone to others, and we see what you want to buy at the end of the day here on Tech of Tomorrow.